share the idea of our today's dialogue that why we are initiating this program and what is the objective of uh, today's meeting. So I request uh, our brother, our very good friend, and he is having very good network of uh, international community through his diplomatic club because he is having contact not only in Russia, UAE, USA, and African countries. He move around all the time and he is creating dialogue for our peace and happiness. So let's welcome Dr. Sergei uh, in India with warm welcome. Thank you so much, uh, dear brothers and sisters. I'm Dr. Sergei Dvorianov, President of International Diplomatic Club, PhD in Philosophy. And, uh, welcome to you in the very Slava town. Uh, you know, soft power is a special ability to make everything around you happy in harmony with a good mood, with a uh, nice vision of future. And I'm so happy that uh, we are together with, with a partnership of BRICS International Forum and this is Purima Anand. She is my friend and my sister. And uh, for me, she is an embodiment of soft power. I'm so happy that uh, Asian Indian civilization, the same like our Russian civilization, we cannot tell that India and Russia is only country or only land or territory. Actually, both of us, we are Asian civilization with a tradition value, with a specific history, with a uh, deep spiritual experience. That's why in such a difficult time like uh, modern time, it's a time of challenges to all of us. We can see, for example, regarding the coronavirus, regarding the destruction of economy around all the world globally, according to the conflicts which take place in different places, in different countries. In these hard times, we start our cooperation uh, and uh, with optimistic vision, optimistic position, we can tell directly that today Russia and India and friendship between two our countries is only one hope for all humanity. I can see it very, very clearly. For me, it's only one decision to save our civilization, is to spread spiritual knowledge. It's only one decision which can completely defeat all the conflicts, all aggressive moods, which can make all of us happy. How we can do it? How we can do it? I'm so happy that today we have such a uh, profound and uh, educated personality uh, speakers like His Excellency Professor and Dr. Srinivas from Bangalore. And uh, he discovered very ancient, unique spiritual knowledge of Indian traditions. And he started his own activity, not only in India, but also in Russia. During the last 20 years, he always visited Russia. Not only because he has a lot of patients in Russia, because he's a doctor, doctor of Ayurveda, but also because of his human position to support humanity around all the world. Such kind of activists, of spiritual leaders, should be united. I am completely sincerely want to tell you that BRICS International Forum and my organization International Diplomatic Club, we do people-to-people -people diplomacy, heart-to-heart -heart diplomacy. Of course, economy is very important. Politics, activity is also very important. But without spiritual knowledge, without some social support, without people-to-people, heart-to-heart diplomacy, we cannot save the world. Specifically, I want to touch some uh, difficult topic. Of course, everybody expect from me some comments regarding the uh, situation between Russia and Ukraine. I want to tell you, I am not politician. I am a spiritual personality. Just recently I came, two days before, from Brindown, where I spent uh, some parigrama 
days and uh, celebrate Holy in Vrindavan. But uh, like a Russian citizen, I can clearly recognize the vision of our government. And I know directly that all goodwill of our national leader, President Vladimir Putin, is support peace, support traditional value, and defeat all uh, anti-human moves like, uh, uh, like uh, fascism and other, or uh, like we can tell the destroy society activity. That's why I think in new conditions, new geopolitical conditions and challenges, India and Russia have to be in focus to make support to each other regarding trade for peace, regarding develop our, our economy with the support of humanity, support of spiritual traditions. That is only one way to save all our global human civilization in the modern age. I'm so appreciated that I was invited to this beautiful event and uh, you can see we start with a uh, very ancient uh, ceremony uh, to make light. It's like a symbol also of spiritual knowledge because we should make light inside deeply in our, in our heart. If we be enlightened, we can make all people around us the same level of enlightenment. That's why I, I want to say uh, my deep thanks to Mrs. Puni Manant and looking forward to start with our initiatives and create, I think maybe Puni will uh, tell a little bit later what is our vision to create some new chambers of commerce, Hindu Russian chambers of commerce regarding economy, uh, regarding cooperation in the different uh, fields. And uh, from my side, uh, I hope soon come again to uh, New Delhi to, to visit Mumbai and Bangalore as well. And uh, our next speakers, they will describe and announce few our investment programs. Specifically, I want to tell that at the end of March we have our own conference in Abu Dhabi, which uh, participation of Royal Family of United Emirates, and we are very active in different uh, regions. But India today our priority, and I absolutely sure that two our leaders, Narendra Modi ji and uh, Vladimir Putin, together can show to all the world society that we support each other, we su support traditional value, we, su we support humanity globally around all the world. Thank you, thank you so much.